Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody is staying safe right now with what's going off in the world. Hope everyone's playing a lot of COD just like I am and in today's video I'm going to be showcasing a weapon that's not actually in the game but I've managed to create it myself and that is going to be the M16 from COD 4 Modern Warfare 2. It's been in numerous games. Um, in COD 4 it was the best, Modern Warfare 2 it was decent and anything after that it's been pretty terrible apart from this game. It is actually pretty decent. Uh, I've created it myself, a little class setup, and you probably know how. But we're going to hop straight into the loadout now. Here it is. I'm using the break up variant. Reason being, uh, if you did hit uh, max rank in season zero, you will have unlocked this similar variant. The style of the gun, the way it looks, looks identical to the M16 in Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare, the original. In all other games to the M16, it looks identical. The iron sights are identical. This is a class that will be you can see on your screen. I'm using the uh, 357, uh, I think it's called, I can't remember the name of it, the Magnum, um, uh, as my secondary with the snake shot just because I'm trying to unlock the Akimbo for Warzone. Uh, but anyway, into the gunsmith, we have the barrel, which is the Corvus Custom Marksman. Uh, if I don't have this barrel on, it basically takes away the look of the M16, so we've got to have this on, which is actually pretty decent. Increases damage range, increases bullet velocity, and increases recoil control in exchange for aim down sight speed and movement speed. Uh, the stock, we have the Forge Tac CQS. Increases aim down sight speed, also keeping it pink. Like I say, if I change it, then um, it won't be on it. We could opt, opt for the M16 stock. You could actually opt for that if you want a more classic look. Uh, but I've decided to go with the Forge Tag just for the aim, aim down sight speed. Plus, you're not really going to see the stocking game anyway. So it doesn't sort of ruin the vibe. For the perk, we have the Burst perk. Obviously, this is huge for the M16. It was a burst weapon. And surprisingly, the M4A1 with the Burst is actually pretty decent. I was surprised myself. I thought I'd just try it just messing around. I thought, actually, I could make an M16. Did it. I ended up having some pretty decent games with it. And you're going to see probably my best game I got with it uh, just this morning. Uh, so hopefully, uh, you know, you guys can try it out yourself. We've got the rear grip, which is the stipple grip tape. Increases aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed. So it does sort of counteract the barrel we had on originally. And ammunition, we've got the 60 round mag. Obviously, I've said it before, I'll say it again. More bullets in your mag equals more kills quickly. Um, you know, you never know when you're going to run into a big group of enemies. And having that amount of bullets... Um, is essential. You can try this out if the regular M4A1, it'll be the exact same, it'll um, <coughs> uh, handle the same, you know, do the same like, amount of damage and stuff. The stats will be identical. Uh, but you just won't have the look. I think there's a couple of variants that look similar to this, but the one I have is the breakup of the, uh, obviously it shoots pink bullets, which is uh, kind of cool, I guess. <laughs> uh, but the main thing is the burst perk, uh, definitely. And the barrel, uh, just to give it that M16 look. But anyway guys, we're going to hop straight into the gameplay. Make sure you do try this class setup out for yourself. I've not seen anybody else actually do this. Uh, so if you know anyone who has, let me know. They might have uh, had it a little bit different to I have. And if you've done something similar with a different gun or this gun, let me know. And I'd love to try it out. Anyway guys, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys do hit that subscribe button. Smash that like button. And I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. Okay guys, we're playing a little TDM on Kando Hideout. I think it's called... Uh, I'm using the M4A1 with the burst mod on it to try and sort of create an M uh, M16 sort of class setup under the guy up here. And it looks identical to it as well using the breakup uh, mod and I'm going to get shot in the back straight off the uh, bat there. Which is a shame. Uh, I've had a couple of games of it already. It is pretty decent surprisingly. I was very surprised. I'm just sort of messing around this morning. Um, you know, obviously, oh my god, this, oh wow, <clears throat> that kid man. This gun isn't the best up close, but at medium ranges to long ranges. I mean, up close it does shred. Don't get me wrong. Uh, my accuracy is just not all with it, to be fair. I'm just looking for excuses. Um, but I was bored, just bored. Um, I was trying to do some of the... Uh, oh, my days. Wow. I can't even hit a shot. My aim is terrible. Um, but just doing some of the marksman challenges. And I thought, you know what? Let me try this out. I've never seen anybody do it. Because um, I was originally just using the breakup because I had this variant for, I don't know, since it came out and I never actually used it. So I was using it just uh, normally, oh my days, that C4 was terrible, I missed completely. Oh, and there's a guy in the corner, where did he even come from? Um, I was using it normally, just a normal M4A1, and uh, I thought, you know, it looks exactly like the M16. I'm going to slip a burst mod on it uh, and just see what it's like. 
Uh, and turned out he's actually pretty decent. I know I'm getting a bit bodied right now, but I'm not playing the best because I'm rambling on. Now, what is this guy doing there? Wow. Jesus. I mean, uh, yeah, you know how uh, my life comes go. And I mean, being a burst mod in situations like that, um, it can be a one um, burst kill if you can manage to hit all three shots. When they're moving across your screen like that, it can be very difficult to get a uh, one burst or a two burst kill just because uh, you're going to miss shots because they're you know, moving across your screen. But it is pretty decent. I mean, there's a one burst kill right there. It wasn't even a headshot. I thought it was at first. But it is actually very decent if you can land the full burst. Um, <clears throat> accuracy is definitely key uh, with this thing. I'm also using the snake shot as my secondary just because I want to try and get uh, the akimbos because that thing is an unreal in Warzone. Oh my days, there's loads here. Nice little triple kill. We've got a uh, precision airstrike which I still haven't changed from the officer rank challenges. <coughs> I really need to get around to Oh my god, days, there's more here. I'm not going to see fours left. I'm going to use the snake shot. Oh my days, I'm using a different stock on it and look how weird this is. It's super zoomed in and there's literally no recoil. It kind of threw me off at first when I first aimed in because uh, I was like, what the hell is this? We've got a VTOL nonetheless. I'm going to back up a little bit. Oh my good days. Flashed and then killed. Wow. Teammate stole my kill there as well, I think. I don't know. I've got an assist either way. Let's call this VTOL in real quick. <clears throat> oh, back there. Okay, they're running, they're running across here. I think there's going to be one more. There we go. And my aim is, my aim is terrible. I do apologise. But we got the VTOL nonetheless, secured it in. 14 kills right now. Pretty decent TDM we've got going off right now. Not the best, but pretty decent, you know. Showcasing what this gun can actually do. And I'll try and get my airstrike over in that corner, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. I don't think that's going to get a kill. To be honest. Possibly. I mean, that snake shot, I just had to, I'm just having to look at it again because, wow, it was so weird. I've never... I've never used that, um, I don't know what it is, I've changed the attachments up on it, it's got to be one of them, I think it's the stock, I think. Look at that, there's literally no recoil. That guy that's dead. But honestly, I would definitely recommend trying this out. If you don't have a variant that looks like the M16, it doesn't really matter, because uh, the stats will be exactly the same. Oh, what's this kid doing up there? Wow. I missed the second burst as well, and I would have killed him if not, but damn. Uh, but even if you've got a regular M4 A1, which obviously everybody does, I would recommend trying it out. It's just a little bit different. It takes a lot of getting used to, to be honest. I'm still not all there with it yet. Um, just because I'm, I don't really use burst weapons. I've not really used a lot of burst weapons uh, since uh, Modern Warfare Remastered. Nice little double kill. Oh, wow. Of course, there's somebody else up in that corner. Uh, just because I feel like they're not as great. I mean, the fan mass in this game, the FR, whatever it is... Um, is really good as well. Uh, so obviously just in choosing a burst gun uh, like this, obviously which is originally fully automatic, it's not so much. Uh, it's not hard to adjust if it's actually meant for bursting. Uh, but we took a little bit of adjusting with this one because obviously it's around a four shot kill, roughly, um, and obviously it's three round burst. And there's a little bit of a delay um, in between bursts. So once it took a little getting used to, like I say, but you know I'm sort of there now. That uh, is very, very decent, and there's a guy here. Is it going to come down? There we go. I can hear somebody walking around. Oh, my days. Wow. I mean, it's, it is even decent up close, to be fair. I mean, it is very... It's just it's just fun more than anything, you know, just switching it up. And <clears throat> to be able to actually do this, have a gun that looks exactly like it and sort of create your own. Where's this guy going down here? He's going inside. Where's this kid running like lightning speed? Oh, wow. He's in the corner. Unreal. But I definitely recommend trying this out yourself. This game's almost over. There's two kills. Is he still in the corner? No, of course he's not. Of course he isn't. He's only in the corner for me, then he'll move. And that's pretty much that. Really decent gun. Very surprising how it actually handled. I definitely recommend this. Okay, guys, we're back in the lobby now. The class setup is on your screen one more time in case you did miss it earlier. If you want to take a screenshot or whatever you want to do with it, I would highly recommend trying this out. It's very different. Just some of you know, just to switch things up a little bit. Something I'm probably sure a lot of you wouldn't regularly do. I mean, I think I've ever come across anyone using the M4A1 with a burst mod on it. Um, but it is really fun, really, really different, and does take a little bit of getting used to, but once you're there, it is really, really fun and such a great weapon, so I would highly recommend trying that out. 
Anyway, guys, thank you guys ever so much for watching. If you are new around here, make sure you are hitting the subscribe button, smashing the like button, and make sure you do follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter. Both of them are in the description, links for both of them. But anyway, guys, thank you guys ever so much for watching. I hope to catch you guys in the next one. Peace.